Hi, Aquarius. <laughs> it's Roxy. I'm here to do a happy Valentine's Day spread for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, Aquarius, as you know, not every reading can resonate with every Aquarius out there. It's not possible. <laughs> so just take what makes sense and leave the rest, okay? Aquarius, I hope you're staying safe and uh, being well. So that card flipped up during this pandemic that we're dealing with. Four cards fell out during the pre-shuffle, so I took them, okay? And I'll tell you what they are in a moment. I'm using the Romantic Tarot by Lil Scarabio. Uh, these cards are really delicate and beautiful. I'll show you at the end uh, Doreen Virtue card. I pre-shuffled and picked for you, okay? So the first card that fell out was The World. The World is Major Arcana. Okay, so you could have met this person on the internet or traveling around on your business travels or just for vacation, okay? Um, a lot of communication with this person, a lot of communication. But you could have ended it. You, That's the first card. Yeah, this person, you offered them your love and um, energy time. And I don't know if they're reciprocated. Interesting. That's the second card. Yeah, you definitely get, want, you see your life with them. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles. Well, you saw your life with them, right? You wanted the picket fence, the house, the, uh, what do you call it? The 2.5 uh, kids, <laughs> the cat, the dog. This is what you saw with this person. That's the third card. But this is the fourth card. But this person may have given you the runaround and they could have hurt you and betrayed you. This is Aquarius, Super Gemini. This is your energy, Aquarius, right? This person could have stuck a knife in your heart, to be honest, and they want to come back around. Ugh. They could have used you for money too, or gifts. The Ten of Pentacles also. But um, this is gonna be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be, but you, they want to come back, right? This could be a uh, old flame, it could be a uh, you know, somebody from middle school, it doesn't matter. It's definitely somebody that wants to come back from your past. Yeah, you're kind of guarded towards this person. You feel that they used you. This is a wounded warrior. Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could have been dealing with a fire sign. I mean, if you could have a stop sign in front of you, Aquarius, <laughs> you would have one. I mean, you might as well have a wall in front of you where this person is concerned. I think they used you for money and resources, your resources, and you're pissed. Seven of Swords, yep, they were up to no damn good. Aquarius, Super Gemini, you found out they were sneaky and shady and doing sh stuff behind your back. I almost said something else. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell that. Yikes. Yep, there we go again. You have to end it. Ten of Swords, Aquarius, Super Gemini, you ended it. You walked away, you bounced. And they're still trying to put a foot in the door to come back and use your Aquarius. No lie. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This person gives you anxiety, depression, keeps you up at night. This is your energy, Aquarius, Super Gemini. And they, you don't want to go through this again. And you don't want them to use you for your money or your finances or use you for anything. Your time, your sex, you know, anything. You're just like, nope. See ya. Oh, oh my God. If this doesn't pertain to those cards, I don't know what it is. Finances and career. Is that what I just said? This person was using you for your money. Financial issues are a factor in your love life now. Yeah, it sure are. You're dealing with a damn gold digger. <laughs> and you put an end to it. Good for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, thanks for watching. I am sending you love, peace, blessings, kisses. Mwah. Please take care out there. Stay safe. And have a good Valentine's Day regardless of this crap. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye.